Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make this double brick stitch colorful flower seed beads earrings. They look like bells, don't they? Don't worry if you're not familiar with the double brick stitch because I'm showing it really easy so a beginner could make them. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell and also it's a good idea to support me by liking, sharing and commenting. In this way you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it. You could also support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Without further delay let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 o seed beads white, red, yellow and orange. Here I'm also using earring findings. This is nylon thread. Here I use from spark beads but you could use Nymo or you could use fireline or whatever thread that you prefer and like. Uh, this is size 10 beading needle but maybe it will be easier for you if, if you use size 11 or 12 for this project and these are scissors and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay my friends and I'm starting my work by picking up four of those beautiful white beads and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made, pulling gently and I want to make just one more knot. Now I want to go here in the next two white beads. Take two more whites, go back like this. Now I have three columns of white beads. Okay, I will add two more columns of white beads. So I have five columns of white beads in total. Now I'm going to take a white and a red and I'm going backwards like this. And again through the newly added beads. Then a red and a white. And I go backwards like this. Now I'm going to add five more columns of white beads. Now I take four white beads and you see these thread bridges that I have here between my beads guides when I turn in this direction. As I'm taking these four I'm going under the second one and this what I'm doing here is called brick stitch and in this case it's called double brick stitch because you see I have columns of two beads when I make it. And what I want to do after I went under this thread bridge is to go through these two white beads that are closer to the center of my work. The two of the four whites that I added that is closer to the center of my work. Okay. And another thing I want to do because you see here I have something like a hole is to reinforce this. So I'm going through the first two whites 
and then I'm going through the second two and when I pull this is what I have then I take a red and a white I go under the next thread bridge and I go through these two beads backwards and I pull then I take a red and a white and I go under the next thread bridge here and again through these beads then I'm going to make three columns of two red beads going under the thread bridges that I have here Okay, after the three columns of, th of two reds, again I will repeat this uh, thing from here but the other way around. So I take a red and a white. Then again a red and a white. And two columns of two white beads. And turn your work the way it would be easier for you. Okay. Now my second row is ready. Then I need two white and two red beads. And again I go under the second thread bridge. I go under the second one because in my next row I will have less beads than in the previous one and I decrease. Then again I go through the two beads that are closer to the center of my work. And I reinforce by going one more time through these beads because I don't want them to stretch and look wonky. Now add two columns of two red beads. Then a yellow and a red. Repeat this again 
Now three columns of two red beads and one column of two white beads. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. I hope you added these four columns, guys. If not, just pause this video and add them. Now I need two white and two red beads. Every time I go under the next thread bridge, the second one. And every time I reinforce. Again, two red beads. Two yellow. Two orange. Two yellow. Now add two columns of two red beads and one column of two white beads and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I added these last three columns. If you still haven't, just pause and do this. Now I take four red beads, again second thread bridge and reinforcing. Red column, then a red and a yellow. And now add three red columns and I'll be back. Well, I hope you added these three red columns. If not, pause and do this. Now I take a red, two whites and a red. I go under the second thread bridge because I'm making here a decreasing brick stitch. Decreasing double brick stitch. And I'm going through the two that are closer to the center then through the previous two reinforcing. Now make three columns of two red beads and I'll be back. Now I take a white and a red. Go in the next one. And backwards. Repeat. Okay, and I have this. Now add two columns of two white beads. Second thread bridge here. Reinforcing. A white and a red next thread bridge. A white and a red. And I finish with two columns of two white beads. Okay, and now until the end, I'm gonna be making rows with only white beads. Okay, I take four whites, 
Again I go under the second thread bridge and I reinforce. Okay my friends and I just did decreasing brick stitch row of five columns and now um, I want to do one with four columns and one with three columns but I'm sure if you're up to here you could do by, by yourself these rows that consist of four and three and I'll be back. Okay guys and I have my row with four columns and my row with three columns and if you still haven't done this pause this video and make it the same way I was showing you up to now and now I'm going to take one white bead my earring finding and one white bead and as I'm exiting from this white I'm skipping the central one and I'm going through the following okay now what I want to do is to reinforce this so I will go through the following white bead and then diagonally I go in the next white and then what I want to do is to reinforce this joint here by going one more time through it and after that after this earring finding is attached I want to go here at this point of my work and because I secured this one here with a knot I will cut it and now I will do the edge here by the way if you want you could leave it like this but I prefer to add this colorful edge I'm taking three white beads and as I'm exiting from the last white I'm going in the next one and pulling then I go in the following two white beads in the other direction add three beads go backwards like this then in this direction okay and continue this until the end and I'll be back okay guys and I finished this row the same way now I want to turn directions I want to go back through these beads keeping one bead and I take one red and go through this one that is sticking out then two red beads and continue adding two reds until the end of this row and here at the last step I want to add just one now I skip one bead and go backwards because I want to exit through this red bead I take yellow orange yellow and I go through the second red bead here again the same thing and again through the second thread on my way and I'm going to continue this until the end and I'm going to continue this until the end
okay and I have this now I skip this red one and I go through the yellow three red beads go in the following yellow and go here in the next yellow from the center to the outside okay three reds go like this and I will continue this until the end of this row Okay, now I will make an additional row to make those taste nice and tight. Okay, I'm skipping the red one, going here, then going through all of those red beads, all of the three. Take one yellow and go in the next red bead. then go through the next three add again one yellow and continue these guys until the end of this row okay my friends and here I am where I'm adding my last yellow bead from this row now what I want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread and in order to do this I want to go here somewhere in my work choose a place make a loop and go twice through the loop you've made pull go through some beads and cut this trail this tail thread okay guys and now my triangular double brick stitch earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe also hit the bell button if you still haven't also like share and comment in this way you make me do more and more tutorials you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.